Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. It seems like you can never treat any of these calls the same. When you're rolling up on somebody, you just never know who's inside. You don't know if somebody's wanted for something, they've got a gun, uh, maybe they've got narcotics. You really have to be on your toes because sometimes as soon as you take the, you know, you get a little lazy with some of your tactics, your techniques, that's when things really go downhill. I like working with a partner. There's a lot of advantages, mainly officer safety. Um, we tend to be more aggressive, more proactive when you have a partner. Uh, we're backing up officers that are behind an occupied stolen vehicle driven by a proli at large. He's supposed to be armed with a handgun. All right, we're in pursuit. Okay, we're in pursuit. Uh, looks like northbound Coronado. We have a fixed ring overhead following the pursuit. They're gonna they're gonna pit them. And no traffic about 40 miles per hour. Does she, want Does she want us to call yeah. it? K9 Sam 1 from 18, you want us to call it? Yeah, thank you. Eighteen X ray blew the uh, stop sign at Arroyo Grande. Continuing. We're doing fifty. Speeds are fifty, no traffic. Sierra. And 18, he blew the stop sign at La Sierra. 18, we're going into the school on the uh, cross eastern. He's going to flip out. Okay, he crashed. Did he flip out? Yep. He's got to be in the ditch, guys. He's on foot northbound, northbound into the pool. Over here. Here, come. Okay, you, come. you guys want to jump first? Go ahead. You come this way. Go. I got him. Where's uh? Did you see the guy run? Where's Canine? Did you see a guy run through here? Okay, stay in your house. Oh, he's right here. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Right here. Right here. Hands. Hands. Get okay. your stomach. Your hands out, dude. Okay. 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 Bring it back. Okay. Watch out. Okay. Maybe armed. Okay. I got it. Okay. Relax. Okay. 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 Get that okay. watch. Okay, guys. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Just relax. Chill out. All right. Just hang on. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Roll your side. You have anything stupid on you? No. Why are you running? In fact, that's way too. We have one in custody. Vernon, why are you running? Vernon, why are you running? Hey, from Coke Boy. Breathe. Why are you running? Hey, breathe. Oh, well, we ran too. Why are you running? Tell us why you're running, man. Are they still beeping for us? Oh. Get up. Oh. Get up. Ow. Get up. Ow, man. Come on, man. Let's walk out to the front. At this point, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be against you in a court of law. And on the foreign attorney, won't be appointed free of charge before and uh, during questioning if you want. Do you understand all your rights? Okay, what we're here to talk about is the car. Okay, you want to talk about the car? Yeah, I, I, I was sitting outside the, with, the, with the keys on the ground right next to the door, so I grabbed it. Where was it? <laughs> we're off the. Um, you know, where I was. 
Yeah. Not Rosemont, but like a couple streets over from there. I said the keys were like someone dropped outside the door. I'm getting out. So it's okay. Keys were laying on the ground like they fell out. And it turns out he's a he's a pro Lee at large, yeah. which is excellent. I guess he's yeah he's a, been known a pro to Lee at large uh, from a, a case that that Sackett's had five years ago, uh -huh. uh, uh, another stolen vehicle case. What were you thinking when you see that many patrol cars behind you? You know as well as I do that's pretty dangerous stuff. The only thing I want to do is go and get away. <laughs> well, I know you want to get away, but I mean, there's no sense in danger in your life and anybody else's life, right? Uh -huh. Did you realize how many cars were behind you? Yeah. And the canine car? You saw the canine, didn't you? No, I seen, I seen him back there, but I didn't see him. Before. Right. Okay. Uh, honestly, you're lucky that the canine didn't catch up before we did. I was going to stop right there when we came to that tee. Right. Well, yeah, you almost I crashed. Don't know, I, don't know why, I don't know why. I just... I just right. Something in my brain just made me, made me keep going. No. The whole time, I'm cussing at myself, you know? Okay. I was... How much time did you do before? Five years, eight months. Five years? I mean, honestly, don't you think you're adding it up even more than that this time? By doing this, I mean. Why are you scouting? What happened? I just didn't go to my SARC program, my SARC classes. You didn't go to your programs as part of parole? How long were you on parole? When did you get out? Um, November. You got out in November? And how long have you been on the run? Just a couple, like a week or two. Just a couple weeks? If a week, if that, yeah. Have you been reporting in that whole time? So, I mean, what, what changed between then and now, then? I, I missed too many classes, and then the new one, next time I go in, they arrest me, so I didn't go in. Mm. They burned in a Zerg gun in your car? No, I just, like I said, I just got back in it. Well, you had a backpack with you. Is there a gun in there? No, sir. Sure? Absolutely, yeah. Have you been in possession of a gun? Absolutely not. I will not go near those things. No guns at all? No way, no, sir. Okay. No way. Well, man, I said it's not worth endangering, like I said, all these people like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... All right. Did some time in prison. He got a parole violation earlier this month. I guess he's going back to probably prison again yeah, for the same thing. Definitely. I guess they don't learn. Ever since I was 10 years old, like, I always wanted to be a, in the law enforcement officer. I always wanted to be a cop. Grew up around a lot of uh, domestic violence, a lot of uh, gang initiations. I always wanted to make a difference. I always wanted to take the path of law enforcement officer. Just got dispatched to a domestic arm. The weapon is going to be a knife. Boyfriend against a uh, girlfriend, I guess. One barrel, 43, 97. What's He's going in on? there. He busted my eye open here. He, ch he tried to say I hit his dad, but his dad, right there, but his dad said yeah. I didn't hit him. All I did was want to take my clothes and leave, and he got mad because I wanted to take my clothes and leave. Is that him right there? Yeah. All right, stay right here, man. Let me see your hands. I got the cell phone, dude. Call you guys. All right, put the cell phone down and come this way. Put your hands up. Hey, she attacked my father. Come over here and we'll talk about it. Yeah, she bashed me in the head with a glass. Okay. And look at my dad. She, she attacked my father. That's why she's outside. All right. She attacked Stand right my there. Dad. My okay, dad stop right there. Stop right there. Dude. What happened? Stop right there. Look, she smashed me in the head. Why are you guys arguing Flipped about? Flipped out. Why am I arguing about? Because she says, I don't care. I'm going to leave. You're, you're this. You're, you're a crackhead. You're this. And I tell him my dad. My dad's 85 years old. He's got an aneurysm, dude. And then when my dad told her to go sit down, she attacked my father. Okay. And then she cracked me in the head with a damn All thing. Right. Do me a favor. Go over there. Yes, Just sir. relax. Yes, sir. I'm going to go talk to your yeah, father, okay? Yeah. How's it going, sir? Can you tell me what happened? Everything. Okay. From the Everything happened. Okay, what happened from the beginning? Argument about this and that and a lot of <laughs> one to another and, and then blows start. And I mean, but what happened? I mean, who started the whole thing? I don't know. Both of them started it. Okay, what did you see? I just saw them pushing each other around and... Did your, did your son have a knife? She had a, I don't know whether he had a knife or not. Did you see a knife at all? No, I didn't see a knife. You didn't knife. see a knife? No. Because I was trying to get between the two of them. Okay. Just give me a minute. I'm going to go talk to my partners.
I love her, but I can't deal with her anymore. Why don't you just let her go? I want her to go now. You can't just push her out of the house no, now. No, no, you, I didn't you have to do it through the eviction no, no, notice. No, I didn't push stuff, her. But she said she wanted to leave. Okay. So, oh yeah, my God, I, 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 I took her stuff and put it there, and she came with a belt wrapped around and started swinging. Right. I mean, come on, dude. If I want to hurt, I'm a big guy, man. I'm not going to do nothing to her. But when she starts trying to go after my dad, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to push her back. So you guys were you guys were wrestling? No, there wasn't no wrestling. That's what I'm saying, you were trying to push her away. I was keeping her back from my dad. And look, okay, dude, she's she's cut me many a times, bro. I've never reported her. Okay. Okay, Mark. Stay put for a minute. Yeah, okay, no I'm gonna problem, go talk bro. to you. He started yelling at me, so I told him I'm leaving, and he didn't want me to leave, and so he started fighting with me, fighting with me, and then after that he started, and then after that he's like, you're going to prison, you're going to prison, because I and he took a, a knife and stabbed it in his stomach. He threw it in my room, it's on my floor. It would have his fingerprints on it. And then um, he said that I hit his dad and his dad said, no, I didn't hit him. He punched me in my head a couple times. He choked me, he punched me in my eye. Now, let me see, let me see your neck. Put, pull your head back for a minute. Hi. This is like the fifth time I've been here. Tonight, obviously, we're getting two sides of the story. We're getting heat. He's beat her, she's beat him. They both have injuries. None of this makes any sense. So here's the way I look at it is they're mutual combatants. Tonight, the only way we're gonna solve this problem is they both go to jail. Yep. So we're gonna put her in cuffs. We're gonna put her in your car first, and then we're gonna go take care of him. We just gotta be careful because he doesn't wanna leave his dad alone, so he's gonna get upset, and he's probably gonna get violent. So I agree, he's just don't... a pretty big guy, yeah. so we'll, we'll have to handle him. All right, so let's go, let's go handle her first, and then... All right. We're gonna put you under arrest. I didn't hit him. I didn't do anything. Just an arm. Both of you guys are going to jail. Both of you guys are going to jail tonight. But I he Listen, hit me. You gotta first. understand, in the state of Florida, all right, now he, the state is the victim. Nobody if he, you wanna if you don't want to press charges, it's not your option, okay? Now it's our option. There's can visible I get injuries. My shoe? Yes, we'll look at your shoe. There's visible injuries on both of you, and we don't have an independent minister. Tell us, uh, you know, who started Was this? he going to jail too? Yes, he's going to jail too. Both of you minute. guys are going to go to, Can go to jail. Can you get my other shoe? Yep, we will. Because I only got one shoe on. Uh -huh. All right, Tom. This is the deal, okay? Here. She's going to jail. Okay. You're going to jail. Okay? Oh my God. Don't worry about your dad. Your daddy's going to be fine. We'll try to work something out. You're going to go to jail, and we're just going to let the state decide. If they're gonna press charges against you or not, or her, same thing with her, okay? Go ahead. All right, hold on, let me lock you up. All right. Dad. Hold on, I'm gonna call him for you, don't worry. You gotta tell him the truth, man. You gotta tell him the truth, they're locking me up. I called him the woman. Did you? Yeah, she was, didn't you tell me she, I was protecting you? Come they're on. locking me up if you come don't on, say on, something. On. Dad, you're locking me up because you won't say nothing. Watch your head. Watch your head. Stick your head. There you go. Man, sit sideways as much as you can. Just get your butt that way and it'll be easier on your on your hands. No, the other way. Turn this way. Turn, yeah. Turn your... That'll work. Hey, Jerry. How about that? All right. We got a hold of uh, Victim Services and uh, DCF, Department of Children and Family, okay? They're both gonna come out here and they're gonna get you some help, okay? So just stay put and they'll be here within 30 minutes or so. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Sure. So you can't be, you can't be uh, put in the middle like this all the time. No, no, I can't hack this. Always wanted to go into law enforcement. My dad was a police officer for 20 some years. I saw him enjoy what he did. I saw him being able to help people. And like him, I, I love coming to work out here. I love the people that I work with. It's a great group of guys, especially out here on Graveyard. We're a tight group. The car in front of us is plate light. He's burned out. So we're going to stop him and see what he has to say. 517 County on traffic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have your license, registration, uh, proof of insurance? I don't have a license on me, but I... Why don't you have your license? Uh, because I lost it. You lost it? Yeah. What's your first name? Joshua. Whose car is this? His. No, it's a car. 
Do you have any ID, man? Yes, I do. This is my brother, so. Okay. Back about a month. Do, whose name is the car in? Yeah, it's in my cousin's name. But do you own it? Well, he he's actually in the process of gifting the car to me. It's your cousin's car. Okay. You know your license is suspended, right? What? Yeah. For what? Unpaid tickets. Are you kidding me? Okay. Come on out here with me. And put your hands up here. Bring your other hand back. So... You're not... You're not going to jail. Right now, you're just being detained. You understand? Yeah. You have anything on you you shouldn't um, have? I might have a break in my pocket. Okay. We're at. Um, don't I'm don't at, reach I'm for not it. Sure. Which which pocket? I don't want to get it's stuck with not, a needle. It's. I think it's in my left pocket. Okay. Put your hands up on your on the dashboard. That are you? Just keep your hands up on that dashboard. You understand? Yeah. You have any heroin on you? No. Any in the car? No. You sure? I'm sorry, I told you, sir. Yeah, you told me you had some in one pocket. I just had my left pocket. I thought I did. Well, then you said you didn't know, and... Can you uh, pull him down, pat him down real good? This guy's got uh, a bunch of needles on him and a crack pipe, so... Open your door. He was sitting on something, something white and silver. Mm -hmm. Grab the top of the car there. Yeah. Don't reach for anything. I said grab the top of the car. Thank you. Anything sharp on you? Nothing. Is there any dope in the car? No. Be, there, be completely honest with me. My brother, he's trying to become a cop himself, you know? Okay. He, I was on my way home. I don't have no dope, you know? Have, so. How long have you been using? Uh, about six years. Okay. Do you have any objection to me taking a look and making sure? Um, I say you don't because it's not my car. Well, you're the one driving it. You're okay. responsible for it. I say no. You can't search it. Okay. It's my cousin's car. It's my brother's. I was driving for my brother. <laughs> okay. You know? Okay. Well, when I search it, if I get the search warrant... Okay, that's fine. Then, that's fine. then there's a good chance we're going to keep the car because it's a dope-related arrest. Okay. You understand that? All right. And you're fine with that. Yeah. Hang out here for a second. Josh, I cannot have my car taken Josh. to impound because of you, bro. I'll call Grandma tomorrow to get it out. Okay. Well, it doesn't work like that. Here's the deal. You told us we could. He told us we can't. He's it's the driver car, of the car. Man. He's the driver of the car, so he's technically in Josh, possession of the car. Josh, my car is not going to impound. I cannot get to work without my car, Josh, bro. what am we're, I supposed to do? We're, we're beyond that. What am I supposed to do? Your your car's. I don't see how it's how it's legal, dude. You're gonna let my car go then. So what am I supposed to do? So why are you gonna let my car go when you know that they we can't do anything about this? Search the car. I, my is not going to impound, bro. Dude, are you kidding me? Wow, dude. How are you gonna get my car? I can't get to work every okay, day. Okay, Sean. Okay, Sean. Based on the paraphernalia that the driver had. I'm going to search narrow scope right now as to where the driver was sitting, see if there's any, uh, any drugs in this area. After that, we'll go from there and decide what we're going to do with the car from there. In the uh, center console, uh, right next to where the driver was sitting, wrapped up in the uh, piece of Kleenex here was a torn off piece of a plastic bag. Looks like black tar heroin in the baggie there. Go ahead and test it and see if it tests positive. Well, test came back positive for uh, for heroin. It's a, not a bad chunk of black tar heroin. So we'll go ahead and book him into the jail for possession of a uh, controlled substance and for the paraphernalia and driving on a suspended license. Your brother's going to jail for the possession of heroin and you're going to be able to drive out of here. Oh, wow. That's 
gotta be the best news I've heard in years, guys. Okay. Well, hang out here for another couple minutes. We'll be back with you. You know how you're lucky your brother is? He's gonna be able to drive out of here. He's uh, pretty upset with you right now, though. How bad you? Uh, maybe. How bad's your habit? Pretty bad. Is that why you're willing to sacrifice all your brother's stuff for you? How much money are you putting towards it? I'm not sure. You don't know? 50, 60 bucks a day. 50, 60 bucks a day. Where are you getting the money? Whatever I have to do. Whatever you have to do. You were willing to let us take his car and everything else just because you didn't want to man up. Yeah, and get locked up for a possession charge. It's the consequences, right? Possession of heroin, driving on a suspended license, and the paraphernalia. All right, you gotta uh, you gotta make some choices.